In Bricks 1.8, we got a new nav menu builder, which promised, at least, to be the answer to everyone's menu building prayers. Unlike the old nav menu element, tons more flexibility to build any kind of menu you like. It's got a mobile menu builder that's actually good. Very good, in fact. And if that's not good enough for you, there's a new off canvas element, which lets you build any kind of custom mobile menu design you can think of. Oh, and not to mention multi-level dropdowns and mega menus too. Oh, I just did mention. Well, anyway, you'd think that now we have all of this fancy new functionality, we'd kick the poor old original nav menu element into touch because it's had its day, right? Wrong. In fact, the old nav menu element still here. And in fact, it also got a recent upgrade with some sweet new features and more facts. It is still perfectly valid to build your menus with. And final fact, in many situations, the old way could actually be more appropriate to use than the shiny new way. I'm Dave Foy, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the pros and cons of the old nav menu element versus the newer nav menu builder and why, in some situations at least, you might want to build your menus the old way instead. Oh, by the way, if you want a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use the new nav menu builder, because it is a bit intimidating at first, you'll want to watch my video on that here. I'll drop a link to it in the description as well. So first, I'm going to start with basically roasting the old method of building a menu in bricks, then why the new method is so much better, in theory at least, and then despite all that, you might very well still want to use the old nav menu element anyway, because it has a lot of advantages in certain situations. If you find this video helpful, do us a solid, subscribe to my channel and click that little dingly bell so you'll know when I have new videos. All right, let's get stuck in. So the old method of building a nav in bricks and the only method at the time was using this element, nav menu. Let's pop it into the structure. And over in the structure, you can see here that it is just one element to deal with. Fine. And over on the left, all the settings here you might need to make for styling and functionality are inside this one element settings. And what's so wrong with that? Two things mainly. One is it's a bit restrictive. You're stuck with just a basic nav, basic drop downs. You, know, you couldn't also have a search field in there or a call to action button or anything else. And two, the mobile menu builder was, well, all right, let's be kind and say, not great. You were stuck with this slide in effect only. Okay, you could make it full screen, but then there was no way to close it down. And I and many others had to write some custom CSS to get it to look how we wanted it. The mobile menu builder in the old nav menu element generally had the feeling of being a bit of a stopgap. And hey, you know, it's not like the Bricks developers were being slouches. They were busy working on all kinds of other incredible features. So slack was cut, so to speak. So that's what's up with the old. What about the new way then? Well, whereas the old way was a bit restrictive, the new way is, well, unrestrictive to say the least. With the new way, everything starts with this new nav nestable element instead. I'll pop that into place and you can already see the difference. Whereas the old way was just one element, this new element is nestable, meaning you can nest whatever you like inside it to construct your menu quite literally however you like. You can throw in links, drop downs, multi-level menus, mega menus. They're all separate so you can put them wherever you like. In fact, these link elements and drop downs you can actually put anywhere you want on the site. They don't even have to be inside the nav, which can be very handy. And because it's nestable, you can pop whatever else you want in here too, like a search form or a call to action button. And Bricks makes all the underlying code all semantically correct and highly accessible. But yeah, all of this can seem a bit intimidating until you get your head around it. Do remember I've got another video, link in the description, showing you exactly how to build a menu using this new method breaking it all down nice and easy, step by step. Now, what you see here is just some nested elements that bricks have thrown in here by default when you add the nav nestable element. It's just a starting point. But actually, we do have five new elements to play with to build nav menus. See here, under the elements panel, under the general group, here's nav nestable, but also separate elements for drop downs, toggles, that means the icon that opens and closes your mobile menu, plus a separate new off canvas element as well. What's this for then? Well, built into the new nav nestable element, the settings for designing the mobile menu as well, and you can just use that probably in most cases. In fact, the new default mobile menu builder that you use here 
in the nav nestable settings is about a hundred times better than the old one. However, if you really want to be able to build any kind of mobile menu layout you want, totally custom, you can instead use the off canvas element, which is an off screen panel where you can build whatever design you like inside it. And you're not just restricted to your basic nav menu links. And again, you'd use the toggle element to toggle that off canvas panel to show or hide it. Now, just to say that the concept of nestable elements in Bricks isn't a new one. I'm going to search nestable in the elements panel. So see, we also have nestable tabs, nestable accordions, nestable sliders, and you can put whatever you want in those as well. So unlike most other page builders, you're not stuck with what the developer gives you. Now, of course, with great power comes, well, a bit more to get your head around. But here's the thing, the new way doesn't replace the old way. In fact, the original nav menu method is far from retired. It's still totally valid and it actually has quite a few advantages over the new way. So why might you want to use the old way when the shiny new way is so slinky and sexy or something? Well, I can think of five good reasons actually. Oh, by the way, if you're finding this helpful, do us a favor, hit that thumbs up below. Thank you kindly. One, the old way is just easier and simpler. It's one element to manage, not a load of nested elements like a Russian doll or matroshka, if we're being correct. Thanks, Dennis, for this, by the way, I'm going to put it back into its pride of place. Two, the new one is probably overkill for a lot of menus. So let's whiz down to this simple footer nav down here. It's just some basic links. We don't need a mobile menu. We certainly do not need a mega menu. And three, and this is the big one, with the original nav menu element, you manage your menu items in the WordPress menu manager outside of bricks. You know, this one in appearance menus that you're probably very used to using. So this way you create your menu here and then whiz back to bricks. With the nav menu element in place, you then just choose the menu you just created in WordPress from this drop down, and you're on your way. And that means that you can easily manage the links centrally in WordPress and your clients can too without having to give your clients access to bricks to break stuff. Whereas the new nav nestable element doesn't use the WordPress menu manager at all. You manage all your links right here in the bricks editor. The thing is this nested approach is massively more flexible, but with all that flexibility, it does mean it isn't possible to also be able to manage your menu links outside of bricks. Basically you can't have your cake and eat it as they say. I mean, yeah, the Bricks docs say that you can do a kind of hybrid method. So yeah, you can drag the original nav menu element into the new nav structure. So in theory, you can have all of this flexibility, but also manage your menu links centrally in WordPress with this old nav menu element. Sadly though, not sure why, but this only works inside a dropdown. So if you put the old nav menu element in a dropdown, the resulting HTML code on the site is spot on semantically correct, accessible, perfect. But if you try and do the same for the top level links, so if I drag the nav menu up into the top level instead, well, just believe me when I say the resulting HTML code is an absolute travesty and you wouldn't want to use it. So this sort of hybrid method only works in dropdowns, not at the top level. So for me, the hybrid method is kind of pointless, really, if you can only use it in dropdowns, but it's worth keeping an eye on in case they fix that in future. Reason number four, you might still want to use the old method, multi-level dropdowns and mega menus. What? I thought the multi-level stuff and mega menus were in the fancy new element. Yes, they are my friend, but Bricks also updated the old element to mostly allow you to do those there as well. Let me show you. First, I'm going to quickly just pop a nav menu element back into the structure again and see in the settings. Now we have two new panels, mega menu and multi-level. And now you can enable either of them here on the old nav menu element. So you don't necessarily have to use the new nav nestable element if you want multi-level dropdowns or mega menus. But hang on, how does Bricks know which links in the nav to make into multi-level or mega menus? Well, the clue's here. It says you edit your WordPress menu item to set a Bricks mega menu template. Okay, let's jump back into the WordPress menu manager a sec. So after the Bricks 1.8 update, now on any of the menu items here, there are now two new options. One is a checkbox to make it multi-level. You just check that and then Bricks knows this link is meant to be multi-level and then back in Bricks, you can set it up how you want it. And if you wanted to make this a mega menu instead, 
Well, you would first have to create a separate Bricks template in the Bricks template library, build the inner contents of your mega menu in that template. And once you've done that, then you'd select that new template from this drop down here. And again, you then carry on with the rest of the setup back in Bricks in the nav menu element settings. So if you wanted to still use the old nav menu element, because you wanted to manage your links in the WordPress menu manager, you can still have your multi-level menus and your mega menus and your cake and you can eat it. And the fifth and final reason you might use the old element is that you need ultimate control of the design of your mobile menu. Okay, Dave's actually lost the plot this time. Yeah, yeah, I know. The mobile menu builder in the old element is still pretty crap, at least at the time of writing. But what I mean is you could just use the off canvas element to build your mobile menu. It's a totally separate element. You can put that off canvas element wherever you like and have a toggle to open it wherever you like. So my point is, if for any of the previous four reasons, you want to use the original nav menu element, you don't have to let its restrictive mobile menu builder stop you. Just use off canvas and make your own. I'll probably make a video on it at some point, And if I do, I'll link to it up here. If you want to be the first to know when I have new videos, head over to davefoy.link slash email, pop in your details, and I'll let you know when I have new content. And don't forget, I have a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use the new nav menu builder in this video here. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon.